Fasting during the month of Ramadan is an obligation followed by all Muslims. Many Muslims who follow the Sunnah, practices of the Prophet wasallam, choose to also fast twice a week outside the month of Ramadan all year round. So it is a very big part of a Muslim's life. But please keep in mind that any person who is suffering from health problems and cannot physically fast is exempt from fasting. During the blessed month of Ramadan, Muslims do not eat anything from Fajr, dawn, until Maghrib, sunset. After the sun has set, Muslims are able to drink and eat freely until dawn. Experts have found that restricting food intake during the day can help prevent health problems such as high cholesterol, heart disease, and obesity, as well as improve mental health and well-being. By not consuming any food, our body is able to concentrate on removing toxins, as we give the digestive system a rest. Nutritionist Claire Mahi said fasting allows the gut to cleanse and strengthen its lining. It can also stimulate a process called autophagy, which is where cells self-cleanse and remove damaged and dangerous particles. Scientists have also been studying the link between diet, gut health, and mental well-being, and fasting can lead to the release of BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor in the brain. This has been shown to protect brain cells and could reduce depression and anxiety, as well as the risk of developing dementia. Many people who have embraced fasting have also found that when done properly, it has helped them lose fat and gain lean muscle mass. Now to truly benefit from fasting, we advise everyone to try their best to cut out all processed foods and sugar from their diets. Eat fresh and natural foods this month, inshallah, and observe how your body can transform from a state of sickness to health. Studies have reported that total cholesterol, TC, low-density lipoprotein, LDL, high-density lipoprotein, HDL, and blood glucose have been improved after Ramadan compared to before Ramadan among athletes. Reference The Effect of Ramadan Fasting on Biochemical and Performance Parameters in Collegiate Wrestlers now it's very clear that fasting during Ramadan has tremendous health benefits, but we need to be clear that for most people, these benefits are unfortunately short-lived. A recent study reported that body weight, BMI, and body fat had a significant reduction in third week of Ramadan in comparison with one week before Ramadan. But lost weight during Ramadan was regained and reduced BMI was returned to pre-Ramadan values in just a short term after Ramadan. This is because after the month of Ramadan, many people begin to binge eat during Eid celebrations, filling their bodies with sugar and fried and processed foods, destroying their efforts towards good health and reversing back to their former condition. Now, of course, it's nice to have one month every year where we detox and heal our bodies. But the month of Ramadan is a month of training and education for all Muslims that demonstrates clearly food isn't everything in life and giving some of it up actually increases our health, makes us more productive, and allows us to concentrate on our spirituality and connecting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah, we hope that this Ramadan is the Ramadan that will change us and shape us towards a better future of health, knowledge, understanding, unity, and success.